spiritual warfare. Okay, so there's one on one across the way, in and we're now going north like on this street that so is uh, parallel to one on one. And I guess this street is called North Vulcan. And when you get to about here, you turn in, and then this is the complex. Um, if they're told there's they shore break in and this is the little regional area own enemies, but really where America's stone steps and is and I haven't America's quite found the exact house How do you get people to let um, it's a little deceiving because you make the turn kind of here and now you're on actually so on stone steps and the address is 141 so it's on this side and that's 153, and that's 145, and that's 141, back in there. Um, so I'm not quite sure where the main entrance is. Let's go around the outside this way, and maybe that's where we would find it. Had the I guess there's a little them. playground, so don't you know, that over there. Will even more a little friendly park for so people that want to take a visit, so etc. So maybe 141 is one of those so back there. It opens up on the little park, which actually ain't too bad, it seems to me. That's kind of cool. I guess this is where 141 is. Must be one of those. So a fun little front yard venue is what that almost looked like. One of the most prominent is Robert Jefferson. Senior That's pastor got here. of First Baptist, a megachurch in Dallas, oh, Texas. He reaches millions of people every week on his radio and TV shows, plus appearances on Fox News. He was an early supporter of former President Trump and a close advisor. I talked to him two days ago. And now I'm heading south on Vulcan. Just Jefferson, to thanks so much for joining me. I want to thank you for having me. So, I want to dive right into it. Some of the people who stormed the Capitol there. on January 6th have said that they were following President Trump's instructions. I'm going to quote from the president's speech that day, the We Will Stop the Steal speech. He said, we're going to walk to the Capitol, we'll fight like hell, and if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have this country anymore. And he finished with, so let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. In saying those things, did President Trump incite an insurrection? Let me tell you what I said in my sermon yesterday. I talked about those who assaulted our capital. So I think you got the uh, drift of where it's at. And what is the police officer? I said.